Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and earlier today, Microsoft released the preview version of Windows 8.1. This is the long-anticipated upgrade to Windows 8 that actually takes Windows back to being kind of like Windows 7. Now, you can get this today if you have Windows 8. It's basically a, a sort of like an app you get through the Windows Store that does the upgrade of your system to make it Windows 8.1. So if you were thinking you had Windows 7, you wanted to try a dual boot out and go get this new Windows 8.1, you can't go and get it. You'd have to install Windows 8, get all the updates that have come out since it was installed, and then do this uh, preview version installation in order to see how Windows 8.1 looks. Now back when Windows 8 first came out and they were offering that $14.99 deal to get a version of it, I did that and put it on here to make this a dual boot machine, but I confess I haven't been into Windows 8 for like a month now, so when I went in there were tons of upgrades that I needed to get. But it is now all ready for this Windows 8.1 preview version to be installed, so I'm going to take you through the steps of that, show you what it looks like, see if it's something I may use a little more often than I did the Windows 8 installation. If you're thinking of doing this, before you get started, Make sure you have that flash drive with your Windows 8 installation backed up to this because apparently there's no going back. Once you put the Windows 8.1 preview on, they're not talking about any way to take it off. They're saying make sure you have uh, Windows 8 installation or reinstallation media so that you can put Windows 8 back on as it was if it turns out you don't like this preview. Now this is a little unusual because usually when Microsoft would put out a beta version of something it would expire at a certain point you would have to go and take it off and then put the final version on but from what they're just describing here on the website it sounds like this version will morph into the final version but if you don't like it you're going to have to go back to your last backup in order to get back to regular Windows 8. Here at the Windows 8 tile screen, I'm going to desktop, and if you go to Google and search for preview 8.1 download, something like that, you should be able to get here. This is the page at Microsoft that offers to let you get it. They tell you to either tap or click to get the update. Uh, they do say uh, make sure you've got a USB recovery drive set up beforehand, as I mentioned. If um, You've got Windows 8 Enterprise, you'll have to do this a different way and download the ISO files for it. And there's FAQs if you want to read that, but we're not here for any of that. We're here just to get the update. Open or save. This one. Let's open it. They can't verify who created this file. Well, gee, maybe they should tell Windows about this company called Microsoft. We're going to say yes, update, standalone installer. Got to restart the computer for it to take effect. All right. Be curious to see where it takes me here. Okay, Windows 8.1 Pro preview. It's 2.44 gigs in size. Some apps not maybe not be compatible with Windows 8.1. Some files and apps may not be migrated. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have that backup on that flash drive. Download, and this will take a little bit. And we've progressed now to downloading, which will take a while too.
Okay, it's telling me it's done most of it. I've got to tell it to restart now and there will be a few more restarts before it's completely installed. Oh, a fish. Well, I've given it 20 minutes since the screen went blank. Occasionally I can get the cursor to appear and then it disappears again. Don't know if this is a video driver issue or what. Control Alt Delete doesn't bring anything up. I'm going to double Control Alt Delete. It'll restart it. Looks like it locked up in the upgrade, so now let's see what happens. Looks like my Windows 7 boot option disappeared. Ah yeah, attempting to recover installation, so there was a problem. Let's reboot it again. Back to the fish. Got hard drive activity showing off and on. Now I've got the exact same behavior. Wiggle it, get the cursor. Second later, it disappears and the screen. You can tell the light's on on the screen, but the screen is blank. Have to rate this one a failure. Restarting it again. Now it's decided it's not going to be able to do the upgrade, so now it's going to try to put it all back to the way it was. Don't know if I'm going to get my Windows 7 boot option back though. Guess I'll have to wait and see. So it's good to know if you get into this point, the black screen issue won't complete the installation. Power it off, power it back up. If it says it's trying to recover the installation and you end up back where you were, another power off, power up. Seems to trigger it. If it's failed twice, it seems to tell it. Go ahead and put it back to how it was, if it can. Hard drive activity light is on pretty solid now, so it's actually doing some work, I think. <clears throat> okay, I got my dual boot options back. Hallelujah. Let's see if Windows 8 is back to plain old 8.0.